Yo, you yo, doing? yo, 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 there's no way you did. Conter. I don't YouTube. believe you. R-E-A-C-O-N-T-E-U-R. Ray Conter. Click my screen. Oh, Look my screen. shit. Click it. <gasps> click it. Click it, click it, click it, click it. That's free. Oh, YouTube.com plus Ray Conter. YouTube.com plus Ray Conter. YouTube.com plus Ray Conter. Let's go. Let's go. So for some context, this is my first time getting Lightning Cloak on any build. And I've made six Lightning accounts that are level 50 to level 60. And I've never gotten Lightning Cloak before. Lightning Cloak is one of the strongest, if not the single strongest mantra in the game. It shrouds the user in Lightning and they gain a movement speed buff, an attack speed buff, and their dashes get replaced with teleports, which are much faster and go much further than the normal dash. Lightning is an incredibly weak element, so much so that it relies on Lightning Cloak to be viable. So if you have a Lightning build and you don't get Lightning Cloak, then you're kind of playing on an unoptimal build. As a result, it's every Lightning user's dream to get Lightning Cloak. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get it, what the requirements are, and everything that you can do to increase the likelihood that you get Lightning Cloak. So Lightning Cloak is a legendary mantra, meaning it's incredibly rare in comparison to other mantras. The only other legendary mantra in the game right now, I believe, is Ice Skate. Lightning also used to have another legendary mantra, Bolt Piercer, but that got changed to a rare, so it's a lot easier to get now. Legendary mantras, as per a recent patch, are much more easier to obtain, so getting Lightning Cloak now is the best time to do it. I've heard a lot of rumours and myths of people saying they know a guaranteed method to get Lightning Cloak, and let me just tell you, no such thing exists. People post their instructions and I do the same thing step by step and I still don't get it, and it's because this is just like, it's like voodoo magic, right? They expect that just because you woke up on the right side of the bed or you drank two cups of coffees that you're gonna magically roll Lightning Cloak. Now the game doesn't work like that. The game does follow a very specific set of rules when giving you mantras though, and because I've made so many builds, I have a good idea of what they are, and as a result, I'm able to actually share that knowledge so that you guys have a much greater chance of actually getting Lightning Cloak. So the first thing I want to talk about is the stat requirements. Lightning Cloak does have a stat requirement, but it does have nothing to do with other stats like intelligence and agility. I've heard people say that you need 20 agility or 15 intelligence and you're guaranteed to get it, but that's not the case at all. You don't need any agility or intelligence. The only stat that you need is Thundercore, and you have to make sure that you have 100 Thundercore. You have to uncap your magic at Duke and get it to 100. If you don't have 100 Thundercore, you're not getting Lightning Cloak. The reason why I'm almost certain this is the case is because every single Thundercore user that I've asked who has Lightning Cloak, who's obtained it, says they got it at 100 Thundercore. I cannot find a single clip or screenshot of anyone getting Lightning Cloak at 60 or 80 Thundercore. So now that you know the stat requirements as to how to get Lightning Cloak, how do you actually increase the chances that you get it? And the answer is that you get 100 Thundercore as soon as possible. In my case, I got 100 Thundercore at like level 25 because I got my friends to help me do Duke. Now that you have your Thundercore maxed at such a low level, the game has a lot more mantra options to give you, and as a result, you have a lot more opportunities to actually get Lightning Cloak. Instead of getting like 5 chances to get Lightning Cloak if you uncap at level 40, you're gonna get like 7 or 8 chances for just from the Whispers. That is the most important tip I can give you, but there is also two more tips that I can give you to get Lightning Cloak. One tip is to never roll two. Basically, when you get offered a mantra, the game will give you an option to roll two talents instead of picking a mantra, and you don't want to pick this until you get Lightning Cloak. The reason is, the more Lightning Mantras that you have, the higher the chances that you'll get Lightning Cloak from your next roll. As a result, you always want to be picking the mantra that seems like the best option rather than rolling two talents, because eventually if you keep on doing this then you have a much higher chance of getting Lightning Cloak. And if you skip on picking a mantra, then eventually you'll get offered the same mantras again. Now the final tip that I can give you is a last resort, and this is basically to do Kelsius's quest. Kelsius is the librarian at uh, Vigils. Basically, he has a quest where you go and find a book and you return to him, and he'll give you a free Whispers of the Deep, which is a mantra slot. This will give you one more chance to get Lightning Cloak, and it's something that everyone should do. I actually lied, there's one more tip, which is to make sure that you're not using dual elements, at least until you get Lightning Cloak. If you unlock a different attunement before you get Lightning Cloak, 
and the game will offer you level zero mantras of other elements. Like if you use Gale and Lightning, the game will give you Gale Lunge even when you're at 100 Thundercool and one Gale. All right, so if you do all that, then the chances that you get Lightning Cloak are gonna be much higher. There's no secret ritual or voodoo dance that you can do to guarantee that you get Lightning Cloak on your next mantra option, but you can definitely increase your chances. So go for it and have fun. Legendary mantra chances are much higher now, so you have a pretty decent chance of getting it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.